Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, Francis. How are you? Doing okay, too. Good, good. Maciel, how are you today? Hi. Good, tired, but good. <laughs> yes, okay. Bersabe, how are you? Can you hear me, Bersabe? I guess not. Alex, welcome back. I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, Janita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good, I'm good. Tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody's saying that they feel tired. You know, that's what happens when you get a, a three-day weekend. Yes, yes right. we have a lot of work when we came to the work. Okay, yeah, I imagine. Yes, okay, so welcome back. It's good to see you again. What is today's date? Tuesday. Tuesday. Third, 2020. Okay, Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. Yes, that is correct. Okay. So let's begin um, with a review. Do you guys remember what we did on Thursday? We were um, using most most up, up, mm -hmm. uh, made up, might up. Exactly. Yes, could of, might of, must of, and and so on. So. Um, when you are 100% sure, let's say you open the door of your house and things are not the same way as when you left in the morning. So you say, mi hermano debió haber venido. How do you say that in English? You're 100% sure. My, How will you say that? My, my brother must have, uh, come. Must have come. Yes, yes. come. So let's say your brother is the only person that has a, a key of the house. So my brother must have come. Yes. So uh, you use the model plus have plus the past participle, past of, participle. The, of the verb. verb. Right. Yes. Um, and that is uh, that standard model plus have huh. plus the verb. The main verb has to be in the past main participle. Past participle. Yes. Okay. Um, what else did we do on Thursday? What is? What else did we do on, on Thursday? What else? Uh, Thursday's soul, soul day. Thursday. No, yeah. Let me see. What else did we do on Thursday? What else did we talk about? Uh, we, we talk about jobs. Jobs? Yes, yes. What, what kind of jobs? <laughs> jokes. Jokes, yes. Jokes. Jokes, we spoke about jokes. Yes, all right. Um, any questions or comments about our last class? No, very no. interesting. Okay, no. very good. So let's go with our first activity. Um, remember, this class is for you to be speaking as much as possible. Um, I can talk, but only for uh, limited portions of time. So it's your class, so you should be doing all the speaking. So I will assign you to work in pairs and talk about the different activities you guys did on this long weekend. So, ha, ha, ha. is it raining where you guys are right now? No, no yet, sir. teacher. No Not yet. yet. Okay, good. And we hope that it doesn't rain. 
Yes, I yeah, hopefully it doesn't have. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is not the, the right time to receive rain. Okay, so let's do this. Talk about your three day weekend. What did you do? No way. Hello, hello, teacher. Francisco. How are you today, Noe? Very good. <laughs> nice. Good. I'm doing okay too. A little bit Very tired, good. but uh, I'm okay. Thank God. Yes, I think I, I, I am a little tired too. Right. But Did you go to Santana? Yes. This day is. A, a little um, tiring for me because I I uh, woke up uh, like 4 a.m. or or mm -hmm. or 3 a.m. Uh, right for 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 jump traffic jam. Yeah, yeah, especially <laughs> near um, Opico. Yes, yes. Traffic is. I went last Sunday to a Huachapang and it took me almost three hours from a to Lourdes. We were in that traffic three jam. Hours. Yeah, almost three hours. It was a Sunday, so many people are coming back to the city, right? To the capital. So traffic was crazy, it was really bad. Yes, yeah. this Saturday I. I, I took from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. from San Salvador to Santa Ana. The traffic was heavy. Right, was right. Hard. Okay. All right, so uh, I will assign you guys to talk about your long weekend. Let me assign here. Assign here and right there. Go, okay, give me a second, give me a second. Eight, eight, and eight. Let's do this. Early, early uh, tonight, and I, I let me see. I cook the the breakfast on Saturday and Sunday, and was was nice, nice the moment that I, I was with my family. Okay, that's great. Family time. It's yes. Important. Sharing time yes. with the family. Very okay. important. Yeah. And what about you, Guillermo? Well, let me see. Not very important things. I think the most exciting thing that I did it was on Saturday. So my wife and I cooked some food for uh, for a dinner that we had with some friends. Oh, uh, excellent! Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah, we uh -huh. have a couple of friends that uh, used to meet together a few times and. Oh, very times. good. And what did you cook? What did you cook? <laughs> we cooked, f uh, let me see, flings, flines. Uh, you, you, what did you cook, you said? I'm sorry, wings. Wings. Wings, wings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, delicious. Yeah, wings yeah. are good. Yeah, barbecue, barbecue wings. Barbecue wings. Actually, they, they, were, they were good. Good. Wow. Good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, besides, out uh, during the the pandemic, so. 
So I I I feel I felt free uh, on Saturday because I I went to I went to, to lunch with my with my family. <laughs> Very fine. Um, nice. What what's up, teacher? Hello. How are you today? I'm um, fine, actually. Yes, I'm very, very, very fine. Good, good. How was your weekend? I was telling them that I, I actually still I I stayed home. I stayed at home. Uh, I just spent time in another course in Excel Basic that I'm taking on Saturday afternoon. Then I work out in the park. Uh, and just that all oh, I spent it. Uh, my family went to all Sol day and Usurutan, and I stayed home again either. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you were alone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Much time. Yeah. The the thing is that um, I I I met someone um, the uh, the last. Sunday, and she was in contact with someone who has COVID. COVID, oh. so I had to spend time in alone, uh, and so I couldn't went, I couldn't go to the to the all whole day, and, and I couldn't go out to the to to uh, any to any place. So right. I had to stay home, just right. waiting for the results. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, like uh, nowadays, you know, we have to be extra careful with with the people that we uh, speak with, the people that we uh, go out with, because you never know. So that's... Yeah, the thing is that I, we were we were like fine and everything, but we ate together and, and that's um, the, the risk that you take when you eat with, some, with someone. Right. You have to take out your, your, your mask. And, exactly. and after that, and after that, you but you don't know what ha will happen. So that's uh, the risk I took, and and that's the consequences. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. In La Union. Okay. Is I of the ocean in a boat or something like that? No, it's a place that that they stay in the middle of the of the of the beach, and the waves, uh, and the waves. Uh, I I don't know how to say golpean. Hit. Hit 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 on, in front of the restaurant. I think. Oh. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice marea en inglés? Tide. Okay, when the the place that I went in San Miguel, when tide uh, is low, you can go walk to the restaurant. But when tide uh, is high, is, is high, the restaurants, uh, the war, the oceans come in. Oh, so I don't like to feel. That's uh, to be inside the ocean with eating. <laughs> right. In the Gulf of the Fonseca, no, no, in the Hikilisco Bay, uh, I was in a boat. Ah, in yeah. A restaurant, in a restaurant boat. I, I love the experience, to be honest. Oh, I, I have always wanted to, to visit that particular restaurant. What are the prices like? Um, Acceptable? I, it's acceptable. Yeah, it is not expensive. Uh, it is acceptable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it must be a nice place to go. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. I, I, and, I, I like it. Yeah. And how? Hello. Oh, video. Can you hear me?
Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm sorry. how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I, I was a uh, 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 cell phone. Okay. Was, but, okay. How was the weekend? I, it was great, very busy. The, the, la, the Saturday, I, I, I gave some students are, are at the, are a substation of high voltage. And uh, in the afternoon, I, I was working in the platform for the Sunday. I went to I went to buy something, something, okay. some, some, something uh, that I need. Uh huh. And the Monday, I went to the cemetery to to gave some flowers to my to my father. Oh, okay. Was it in San Salvador? No, in Suchitoto. Oh. The cemetery of Suchitoto. Okay, are you from there? Are you from Suchitoto? Yes, yes. Yes, I'm from Suchitoto. Good. And do you still have family there? Yes, my my mother and oh. my uh, my brother live lives there. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Okay. So let me send you to a room. Let me see here. Right there. Hold on. Huh? It was hard at the beginning. Hard, yeah, kind of. Yes, because uh, the school I went to, they only speak most of the people English. I did not go to a school where a lot of um, Spanish speaking. Oh, yeah. I see. So it was kind of hard at the beginning. <laughs> and. I learned to speak and write it at the same time. Okay. Did you guys visit the cemetery yesterday or Sunday? I visited on uh, Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. So did you go to uh, San Salvador or somewhere else? No. Out of the city. Uh, I went to San Juan Manuel con La Paz. Oh. Are you from there? My family is. Okay, good, good. I yes. used to work in Zacateculuca. I was there like eight months. Ah, okay. <laughs> yep. It's, a, it's very hot. It's a hot city. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because the, the coast is, is, is very near. Yeah, that's true. So, you know. San Juan is like a small town before. Right. Yeah. I, when I was working there, I drove maybe like two times por la calle vieja. So I remember passing the Nonualco, Sobrajuelo, and, and all those places. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I met some wonderful people there. Yeah, nice people. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. All right. All right. Did you okay. guys finish the talking? Yes, we changed the, the topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I mean, like, it can be any topic. Just make sure that... uh that you're using the language, that you're using English. Yes, yes. <laughs> we did. All right. All right, let's go back. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments about vocabulary or anything you may want to ask. 
Yeah, yeah. How do you say uh, frente frío? Cold front. But, but, that is a, but that is a correct term in English? Uh, yeah, cold front. Cold front. Yeah, cold front. That's... Me, teacher. Yes, Maybe. Erica. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, what, what, um, no, how do you say enflorar? Flower. You go to the cemetery to flower uh, graves. Flower. Okay. Yeah, re remember that Spanish is more complete than English because flores is one thing and florar is different. But yeah. in English, you say flower for, for both. Okay. Thank right. You. Mm -hmm. What is another form to say cemetery? Graveyard. 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 Yes, graveyard. Exactly. How do you say enterrar? Bury. 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 Yeah, bury. How do you spell bury? B U R. U R. No. Only one. Only okay. one R. Yep. Right. So B U R Y. B U R Y. Bury. Very. So you said, well, I went to the cemetery, I went to the graveyard because I have an uncle that was buried uh, last year, six months ago, five years ago. So anyways, all right. Uh, any questions or comments before we change activity? No. No? Okay, so let's go here. right here give me a second sometimes the internet gets a little bit slow give me a second it's due to the storm <laughs> the eta storm is interfering yes you know, and that's that's one of the reasons why Ministerio de Educación suspended classes, you know, because, oh, there will be, uh, you know, like, uh, there will be problems with the connection and, but who knows, yeah. you know, maybe with the, with the, with the antennas, you know, it might sound like a joke, but it might be true. Yes, I, I am in, a, I am enrolled in a capacitation from a UFG. Uh -huh. And they and they suspend the the, the right, right, right. Yeah, they have suspended everything, including mm -hmm. online. Insafor yes. suspended uh, the classes that are face to face. You know, so they said, nah, -uh, no classes. But thank God that they haven't suspended uh, the <laughs> online. Classes. Right, right. The virtual classes. Yeah, exactly. The virtual classes. Right. All right. So describing purpose. Infinitive clauses and infinitive clauses with four. All right, so to run a popular internet cafe, what is necessary to run a popular internet cafe? It's a good idea to have late opening hours. Exactly, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. Okay, good. Uh, what about the second one? In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's, it's important, important to have, to have, have a fashionable, fashionable server. Exactly. Now, how can you, how do you describe a fashionable server or waiter or waitress? Um, like Someone tend trendy? People will dress. Will okay, dress. well dressed. Well right. well it's dressed. a polite person. Okay, polite. polite. Okay. Yeah, uh, lo uh -huh. looking good, looking good uh, servers. Right. Gives okay. you options. Uh, what is it? They give you good options. Right, variety. 
also they have to be dressed up very very trendy too right right remember that when you go to a restaurant you're not buying food you're buying a service that includes the food so it's not like okay here's your food and and you know like nights when you arrive even when even before you arrive when you enter the parking lot that's where the service starts you know with the security guard or or the driver whatever so it's a, it's a service okay now what aspects do you look for um to classify or give a good reputation to a restaurant or a cafeteria what aspects do you think are important when the service is fast uh-huh exactly that's a very when good the point food is delicious yes and clean yes especially yeah <laughs> do you have any restaurant okay yeah and, and the prices too right yeah okay are there do you can you recommend any restaurants with those characteristics that janita mentioned the food I is would, good, the service is good. I will recommend, um, I don't remember, a Chinese restaurant in Marliot. Okay. In uh, in Chiltiupan Street, I don't remember. Okay. Yes, Imperial, I, 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 I don't remember the name, but I think it's Celeste Imperial. Imperial. Yes, yeah. Celeste Imperial. Yeah, it's, it's very good. It's in it's second excellent. floor. It's located yeah. in the second floor. Okay. Is there any um, reference point for that restaurant? It's on Chiltiupan Street. Um, in the corner. Like, <laughs> which in corner? corner um, um, near Multiplaza. What? No, it's, it's like uh, it's uh, three or like four or five weeks going down from Plaza Marriott. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. There is a traffic light and the restaurant is in floor in the corner. Okay. Yes. Good to know. It has the, the characteristics that Janira said and one extra characteristic. They give a lot of food. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. What's the name again? Lock food. Celeste uh, Imperio. Celeste Imperio. Celeste Imperio. Okay. okay. I think that is a Korean restaurant, right? It's Korean food. Really? Yeah, it's Korean no. food. It is Chinese. Yes, it is okay. Chinese. It's Chinese food. Mm, all okay. right. I, I, you recommend I, it? I've, it's okay. I've gone like three or four times. Okay, so you recommend the place. Okay. I, I, I love I, I I like a place called Las Fajitas. Okay, where's Las oh, Fajitas? Las Fajitas is in the Universitaria Street, uh, uh -huh. near, near near of Bizanova and uh, in front of the establo. In oh. front of the establo, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <Is> oh. the, <laughs> that we is know the we know those kinds of, of places. I, I never I, I've, been, I've been to El Establo a thousand times, but. <laughs> Never las tablitas, fajitas, whatever the name. Fajitas. Is. It's in front of. It's in front of. Uh, is Mexican food is really good. It is not. It is not expensive. I think if you pay uh, for for the amount of food that they gave you. Uh huh. I like it. And my, my mom, for example, loved the sopa de tortilla. Uh huh. I think it's a good place. Good. Okay. Good. You know, you know, one place that I recommend that the food is good, the prices are really good, and the service is good is, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about Metro Cafe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah, think of so. Of course. Okay. It's in from Metro Centro. Exactly. Yes. Close, to, close to Centro Cultural. Next to Centro Cultural, right. Yes, Metro Galerias. Inside Metro Galerias. Yeah, inside right. Metro Galerias, yes. Right. Really dollars, a lot of food. Yeah, with three dollars, they give you a huge lunch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you know, the, the, the prices are good. They have variety because the lady, she has like four different spaces that is the same. So there is there is variety of food and the yeah, prices yeah. are good. Okay. And they have like 10 different salads, uh, like different meat. I mean, they they it's it's like a, 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 a big buffet, right? Right. Similar, oh, right. similar. Right. 
because okay. it's a lot of food and it's for the same three dollars. What, right. what is the restaurant's name? Metro Cafe. Ah, Metro Cafe. Yeah. Okay. You know, there, it's it's a building next to a uh, Centro Cultural. Centro Cultural. Centro yeah. Cultural. Yeah. Yeah, they have okay. Seguro Social, the pharmacy on the second floor. The yeah. cafeteria is on the first, like in the lobby, we can say. So it, it's pretty good. Okay, okay. anyways. Okay. Um, so when you're describing purpose, you can also use preposition uh, for. For an athletic center to be profitable, what do you need to do? It needs to have modern exercise equipment. Exactly. And then the second one says, in order for a shopping mall to succeed, what do you need? It has to have, it has a, to convenient have a convenient location. location. Exactly. Convenient location. Yes, a convenient location. Exactly. All right. Any questions here? Yes, I have a question. Yes. I, I can see, um, well, when they say in order, there's inside of... Parenthesis. Parenthesis. Yes. Parenthesis. Yes. And which means I can omit the the word. Exactly. Right. Yes. It, so, is, okay. it is optional to use in order. Yes. Yeah. I I I saw a lot of people that use it, and uh -huh. a lot of people they don't. Okay. Which which be the difference between. Uh the difference, the difference is nothing like like you said you know like the way, the reason why they include it in parentheses is because it's it's your decision if you want to use yeah, it it's optional but it, it, it's it's a it's everybody's decision to decide whether they use it or not i mean so could, i use it could, sometimes could, could you give me an example maybe in spanish the uh, what could be the difference to use it in well, I don't think there isn't any much difference in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Like it says, para establecer un restaurante, and then mm -hmm. in order to establish, mm -hmm. in orden para establecer, but it doesn't, it doesn't really change uh, the message whether you're using it or not. And mm -hmm. that's why they present it as an optional uh, option. Okay. Right. But, but it, it's more polite or it's no, it, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's indifferent. Not, yeah, it's indifferent. But, you know, the more you use the language, the better you get. So if you feel okay uh, using it, go ahead and do it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or comments? If we were talking like Yoda. Uh -huh. uh, we were, it, it could be like to run a popular internet cafe, late uh -huh. openings hours must, must have, or something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know who's Yoda? Yes. I, I think so, yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. You, don't you like it? Star Wars? No, the, I, I know who Yoda is, yeah. Okay. But honestly, I don't, I don't like the Star Wars uh, movies. When I was a uh, kid, when I was a kid, I used to be like, yeah, Star Wars, Jedi, and all that, but not anymore. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So yeah. sad. <laughs> That's true. It's sad. Yeah, I mean, like, science fiction is not my my first choice, we can say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions or comments about uh, describing purpose? No, mm. all right, so let me show you a picture. So, second, okay, right here. Okay, can you see the picture? Yes. 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 Right. Give me a second. Okay. So this picture was taken uh, in a cafeteria. Now, obviously, uh, 
what do you think is the impression of people waiting in line? They're angry. Yeah. They're upset. They, they're yeah. upset. Yeah, they're angry. They're upset. They might feel the annoyed. Very yeah. Nice. Maybe they're not patient. Maybe they have been make, maybe they've been standing there uh, uh, for a while now. So uh, I want you, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. Describe this uh, picture and see how you could improve uh, their service. So here we go, open room. So I sent you the picture to the WhatsApp chat. If not, you can take a screenshot from here. And based on what we saw before, uh, describe how you can improve this service. So use the okay. picture to help you create the sentences. Hold on. Huh? Angry because of the long line that they're doing. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe if it's a long line, they don't even have a place where to sit and take their coffee. And, and the yeah. other people are enjoying their time there. Okay. Uh, if it's uh, for a long time. Uh, or, or is the only cafe at, at the city. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the city, city. It's, a, it's the only coffee. Yeah, you know, that, that happens when, when uh, let's say, well, we're the only ones around, so people will have to take our service, whether they like it or not. Yes. It happens. It, it, it's similar to Pollo Bonanza. Uh huh. Pollo Bonanza oh. is, is, is a bad restaurant, but in the in the infrastructure okay. or the environment. Okay. But the the food is a for me mm -hmm. is a good chicken. Okay. Pollo Bonanza. Yeah. May uh -huh. always has a lot of people. This yep. restaurant. Stand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there is always a big line of people buying the chicken. 
Yes, on the street, yes. in the restaurant. Right. Yes. Had you yes. had you eaten that that chicken before? I I tried it a couple of years ago, and honestly, I don't remember the taste. You know, uh, because you know I pass by there very frequent, and every time that I go there, different times of the day, there is always a line. There is always a line. Yeah. I am so, from from Erepan. Um, the chicken is very famous. Uh, I am intrigued about trying it, but. Always that I travel to San Salvador is always in line, so I can lose all that time right. to eat chicken. Right, right. Yeah. And there was a report on the newspaper about that business. And uh, they asked them, what is the reason you guys have only one place to sell the chicken? I mean, like, people look for you every day, all the time. And, and I don't remember what the answer was, but, you know, like... You know, if they open a new Pollo Bonanza, they will sell too. But, you know, they must it have... Is, it's a big opportunity for business. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yes, they, they could sell, sell French... Fran, how do you say franchise? Franchise. Franchise. Yeah, franchise. Yeah. Sure, sure. But, you know, they're making so much money that they say, no, we don't need an extra, uh, an extra branch, you know, we're making enough here. Yeah. So. Maybe it's a, it's a short family. Yeah. Like, I mean, a, yeah, that, but, but I think that with a business like that, that is very successful, they should take advantage and, and, and open more, more branches. Yes. So we'll see. Like some dessert. Yes, dessert, food. Okay. Okay. So, what are your solutions for this situation in the picture? Marcial, can you uh, explain? Yeah. Uh, to get uh, well, it's important to to have a a big place. Uh, to get. Um, more, more variety, 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 uh, variety of of food. Uh huh. And uh, how do you ah uh, hire? Uh, to hire more efficient employees. Yep. And and clean, the clean the place. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. The cleaning is very important. Right, especially if it's about food. Yes. <laughs> Right. Yeah, the garbage, you know, the, the, the plastic bag needs to be changed. Uh, they need to be cleaning the, the tables more often, more frequent. Yeah, so, and, you know, there are businesses that are, in reality, they're like this. And people still buy from them. Yep. Yeah. All right, let me visit another room. There was a girl that uh, all the time was very angry and they say, oh, if you want, you can get it. And if you don't, you can go to another restaurant. And I was like, no, you can't do that. And yeah, and the customer uh, did, made, made a lot of, did many, many, Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> the baby girl is very. She wants mommy. He is trying to Sorry. How old is the baby? <laughs> She's two years ago. Two years old. Sorry. Yeah, very little still. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, you want to receive the class. Yeah. So so you were saying uh, uh, that you were in a restaurant and, and the service was bad? Yes. 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 I worked at Taco Bell and a girl that worked there, 
uh, she was very angry all the time. So uh, when the customer came to the restaurant, she was like, if you want it, you can get it. If you don't want, you can go to another restaurant. And I was like, you can't do that. Really? And, yeah. And the customer uh, Complain. started, yeah, were so angry. And what happened to the to the girl? The 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 manager uh, moved her to another section. To another, yeah, to another section. But at the end, the they burned her. I don't know who. They fired her. They fired her. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah especially Taco yeah, especially Taco Bell. I mean, it's an international. Uh, uh, business, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah, and it's true. I mean, like you have people that are like, you know, like uh, uh, I used to interview people that in the interview they were like very nice, hi Francisco, blah blah, but once they signed the contract, they change their personality, you know. And they're like, yeah. And, and I used to say to myself. This is nothing compared to the way this person was the day of the interview, you know? So then then you realize that when you're in an interview, people become actors and actresses, yeah. you know? And, yeah. but it happens. Yeah, just to get the job. Exactly. And, and, and some people, you know, they look for jobs, but they cross their fingers that, you don't call them. Yeah. Uh, it's true. Yeah, it's true. All right. I'm 29. So both uh, of you my, but, my daughters. <laughs> Erica, you're 29. Yeah, 29. Very young, very young. <laughs> very old. <laughs> uh, Valentina, how old are you? I'm 21. I'm oh, a baby. <laughs> yeah, you are very young. Very, very young. It's a, it's a kill <laughs> or, <laughs> or child. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's very, she's a young person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very young. Roosevelt, you said that they could be your daughters. Yes, correct. Okay, how old are you, Roosevelt? 52. Oh, okay. Because my son, he's 28, and my daughter, 26. So okay. <laughs> younger than my kids. <laughs> okay, yes. I, I'm going to be 50 next year. And, you know, my, my first daughter, she is, um, she's 27. And, wow. my, and my last son is three and a half. Well, almost four already. Three? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So sometimes when in the middle of the class he comes and and takes a look at the computer and <laughs> you know the, the things uh, little kids do at that age. Hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, Erica, you don't have children, do you? No. Okay. I don't have. Okay. For Valentina. the moment. <laughs> okay, yeah. Valentina, you don't have children either. No, no. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Let me visit another room. Okay. Really, a really good advice. I, I think I would like to take a visualization too, but I'm not sure. And I was not sure about what specialization, what could I take. And that uh, security, the visualization that you mentioned, it sounds really, really interesting. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the maybe our uh, the local universities maybe they don't uh, offer that option. But you know, nowadays uh, we have a lot of options uh, in a virtual uh, virtual education, like like this course, for example. Uh, you can have education for from uh, the European universities or American, I don't know. Uh, I think it's easier now than a couple of years ago. 
pay taxes. So they changed their names uh, because of that. They, they just changed their name and changed everything just for, yeah. I don't know how to say, ev to evade. Have to have more time to... E yeah, evade taxes and, and, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, what's up? Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Hey, how do you name you namesake, right? Namesake, namesake is, Tokayos, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The, the two namesakes okay, cool. are in the same uh, pair work activity. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. She, yeah, again. Hey, teacher, how do you say, um, uh, would you peel a banana? And you uh, you ate the banana. What is the the the, 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 the you 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 release it? What what you drop it? Uh huh. The, how how do you the name skin. it? The skin. The skin. Banana yeah. skin. Banana skin. Yes. Ah yeah. When you okay. say cascara. Yeah, skin. Cascara the banana. Okay. Yeah. And, and is it, is that all for for all the fruits? Like, uh for example, yeah. Yeah, bananas, apples, orange, mangoes, cream. orange, mm -hmm. yeah, tangerine. Oh. Yeah, if yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we were looking to the to the picture and the, we have uh, we have seen the the, the banana skin very, that we don't know. Very dirty place. Right. Yeah, it was very dirty place, and we were just I don't know how to say this. Uh, there is a lot of there is a banana skin there, but I don't know how to say I don't know how to say how to say it. Yeah. Okay, where is the banana skin? I don't see it. Uh, the banana skin is is uh, next to the, the, the chubby guy who is in the, with the computer. It uh -huh. has a, oh, a very Oh, it's on the floor, display. it's on the floor, right. Yeah, it's in the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and not only it looks, uh, makes the place look dirty, but it's dangerous, you know, because you, you, you step on it, you know, uh, you can have an accident. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So, yes. Yep. Okay. So I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, so what solutions do you have for the situation in the picture? Uh -huh. um, for example, um, a given in incentive from the employees to attend the custom. Yep. Um, and a, a, a hire an extra person for clean the place. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> and training. Training, yes. Training. Yeah. Yep. Uh, including um, a, 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 a kind of uh, a punish too, because uh, <laughs> the, the cashier is ignoring the customs. <laughs> The customers, exactly. And, 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 you know, the cashier, you know, she's there to handle the money and maybe, uh, I don't know, but like, even if it's not your area or your responsibilities, you should be able to respond and, and, and move faster to help the for clients. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yes. Okay, anybody but, but, else? But what happened if in this, uh, uh, at least I saw in the picture, Sure, uh, maybe the place was full uh -huh. and there are not the space so the cashier is not supposed to make miracles I, I think right right you don't have space uh, i'm sorry you need to wait right right now what now that you mentioned that what would be a solution for people who are not eating anymore so they can stand up and give their table to someone else how, how will you do that without being uh, rude? rude. You, need to be, you need to be a little polite. You can give the ticket to the table and ask if they want anything else. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> or ask clean the table. Leave. Yeah. Can I take the dishes? Uh, stuff right. like that. Yeah. They give, 
people is giving you a message with that. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Let, let the dogs out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else? What What about the 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 garbage that there is in the picture? How can you solve that problem? The cashier can help. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, you know, there's a famous uh, expression that says, uh, do more than expected and less than permitted. So, you know, the cashier is just to charge money, give change, whatever. But, you know, like, yeah, the garbage is not my responsibility, but why not? You know, I'll do more than expected, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. In fact, we were talking about, for example, in Pizza Hut, the supervisor uh, is capable to do uh, all tasks. Exactly. For 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 the in the in the area, they they uh, they collect money, they clean table, they serve food, uh, everything. Right. Yes. Right. And, and that's only, the idea. Yeah. Yes, a, a, a multitask uh, uh, personal. Right, right. So imagine one day uh, one of the waiters don't show up. Well, and if it's rush hour, I'm going to be helping, you know, so they, they do different things. Right. Yeah, also, you can print all the trash you have there if you sensibilize, sensibilize the, the customers to drop the trash in their, right. in their can. Right. Like right. putting signs, for example, that put your trash in here, don't leave uh, trash in the tables. Right. How do you say auto servicio in English? Drive through. Drive through. Self service. Self service. Self-service. I mean, no, uh, when I say yeah. auto servicio, I meant um, when you when you help yourself. Yes. Ah, self-service. Self yeah. Self -service. yeah. For, self -service. for example, in gas station. Right. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah, you uh -huh. got the full service, and you have self-service. Okay. Self-service. So you know, like, like if I, I have seen that when you go to a fast food restaurant, you know, it's common to see people getting their garbage and putting it in the in the trash, trash. can you know like starbucks uh, i have never been in starbucks but you know maybe it's kind of the same it's kind of the same for for other places you can take right. your own trash and put it in the trash can right yeah, it, when you are in the this place that, that, that where you're in multiplaza with all the restaurants and and people, you can see people uh, taking uh, their, their their trash and putting it in the uh, trash can. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. The garbage. Yes. Yeah. That's a good solution. I yeah. I, I, yeah. I do that 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 thing. I when I stand stand up from the table, I take the, the garbage. Right. To the to the can. Right. 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 Okay. All right, people. Any questions or comments about today's class? No, sir. No. no. Remember no, sir. that we have classes this coming Friday, so don't disappear. <laughs> no, no, teacher. So. Have a good night. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Take care, everybody. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Tomorrow? Uh, what is it? We're having classes tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, we have classes uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Have a good night. Bye.